Since this is the solutions unit, it's a good idea to talk about how to prepare a solution of a fixed concentration. Now in the AP world, they really focus on only one type of uh, solution concentration measurement, and that's molarity. Now it's not shown on the slide, but you should know by now that that means the moles of your solute for every liter of solution. Notice that the denominator is not liters of solvent or grams of solvent. It's simply liters of solution. What that means in practice is that the um, actual amount of solvent does not have to be measured and should not be described. Let me tell you what I mean by that. Suppose you're making a one molar sodium chloride aqueous solution. And let's say that marker right there is exactly one liter. You would take 58.5 grams of sodium chloride. That's one mole. That would be, right, top one mole of solute, that's sodium chloride, for every liter of solution. Now, you're not going to add a liter of water, are you? Because you've already got, oh, somewhere in the area of probably 30 mils, depending on its density, of volume already there. Um, and you're, so you're going to just uh, add water until it hits one liter. How much water are you adding? You don't care. You're making a liter of solution. And so when you describe it, you would say take 58.5 grams of sodium chloride and dilute to uh, one liter using water. You see how it's important to describe that? If you said and add one liter of water, that's wrong. You never really need to talk about the volume of solvent when preparing a fixed molarity solution. That solves that um, difficult issue of whether the volumes are additive between the solute and the solvent, how much you're actually adding, whether density comes to, into play. It's simply called take and dilute. Or, of course, if you're concentrating it, you just concentrate down, assuming that the solvent is the volatile species. So you need to know the amount of solute in moles. You need to know the volume of solution in liters. You need to know the volume the volume of solute, you don't really need to know. The volume of the solvent, you don't need to know. You just need to know the first two. So that's how to prepare a fixed molarity solution.